Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Linway County, Michigan, with a softard who, uh, well, I guess watched trial by combat to settle his uh, probation violation. I guess that's what he wants. I mean, we'll see. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, we are on the record in file 21-20513-FH, People versus Robert Joseph Matson. We are here today for a hearing on a probation violation, and we are proceeding today uh, by video conference. Uh, Mr. Matson is uh, present from Glenway County Jail. Uh, Mr. Matson, my Court notes indicated that at the last hearing, you waived uh, your right to be represented by an attorney. I am required to advise you at all stages of the proceeding that you do have a right to be represented by an attorney. And if you can't afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you at public expense. Do you understand that? I don't think you'd be violating your oath of office, Your Honor, by allowing me to... Um, my, the right to a uh, fighting clause. So you, are you demanding a uh, trial by combat, uh, dude? Because there's a technicality within our laws at this point. None of the original 13 colonies had abolished it, so it's technically still legal in the United States, but since it's only been brought up a few times and nobody has really gone that route, the uh, legality of it, as well, remain stagnant for, for well over 200 years. But still, you never know what will happen in the future. So let's carry on, shall we? Sir, I, I, will, I, didn't ask you about, I didn't ask you about any of that. I asked you if you understand. I, I will, that. however. Mr. You, Madsen, don't interrupt me. I, the question I asked you is whether you understand that you have the right to be represented by an attorney. Do I understand? do understand I have a right to be represented by an attorney or not. Yes, sir. Okay. You've previously waived that right. As I said, I have to advise you that at every stage of the hearing. So I have to ask you again, would you like to be represented by an attorney at this point? As I started to say, uh, Your Honor, I don't want the representation. However, I will use the help of handling paperwork due to my means here and having access to certain things and paperwork, I will use your um, um, your court appointed attorneys just to help with uh, some paperwork. No, that's not really how that works out, dude. Uh, the attorneys represent you. They're the ones that do the arguments. They have their own employees do the paperwork. So if you want somebody to do the paperwork, hire the freaking attorney and let their employees do the paperwork and let the uh, lawyer do the arguing on your behalf. That way you might make it through this. Okay, so you don't have a right to have the public defender's office do your paperwork or handle any of that. You have the right to have them represent you or not represent you. So that nope. is your choice. Not represent me, that's fine then. All right. right. So you've previously been arraigned on uh, the probation violation. Do you know if you, how you want to proceed? So your options are you can plead to it if you want, which means you'd be admitting guilt. The other option is that I can set it for a hearing, and we can have a hearing on the matter, and then I'll decide based on the evidence submitted at that hearing. Uh, Your Honor, all due respect. I wish, um, are you working under oath of office today, sir? Sir, I'm not going to answer these questions or deal with this. Uh, we, we've dealt we've dealt with you before and your sovereign citizen arguments. Uh, I've rejected them all. Sovereign citizen. <laughs> sir, do not interrupt me. Do you want to have a hearing or do you want to plead? To I'll me? take your silence under your oath, Your Honor. Okay. Do you want to have a hearing or do you want to plead? I want the hearing. I want to go to go to trial. And I want to go within 90 days to a trial or sooner. 
All right. So, uh, Sierra, we'll need about a one hour hearing on a probation violation. As well as I'd like you to have uh, the arresting officers that um, arrested me on that day. I would like their sergeant to be dressed in uniform and at that trial on that day as well, please. Hey, dipshit. It was a probation violation, which means a judge had to sign the order. The fault of this uh, arrest does not fall on any of the police officers that actually arrested you. The fault lies within yourself as you didn't follow the, uh, well, probation terms. So therefore, to find blame, just look in a mirror. Yeah, let, let's do it on Monday then. We'll do it on Monday, May 8th. April 8th, I'm sorry. Monday, April 8th at 3.30. Uh, Mr. Matson, do you want to be present in person for that hearing or do you want to do it by Zoom? It doesn't matter. Judge, whichever is best for the court to be fine with me. All right. I think it will go more smoothly if you are here in person. So uh, we will have you in person here from the jail. All right. Exactly what the hearing is going to be um, on that day. So you've been you've been charged with a violation of the terms of your probation yes. for fa for failing to report. So the hearing yes. is going to be to determine whether or not you failed to report. Okay, so it's going to be the trial that day. <laughs> Correct. Okay, can I have uh, the state police sergeant there at that trial? What state police sergeant? The state police sergeant of the arresting officers on the night of. Uh, my arrest. Who are the arresting officers? I don't remember the exact names. <laughs> but any any no, state I, I, sergeant in uniform would do. Why do you want any state police <clears throat> sergeant to be present at the trial? Just just to show how arrests are made. Um, and how, why they're made and how they do um, um, the determination and how they bring people into jail. Well, how is any of that relevant to whether or not you violated <clears throat> the terms of probation? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What is the relevance to your case? Why do you want this spectacle to happen? I mean... I don't see where it fits. Maybe in your deluded sovereign citizen brain, it may fit somewhere, but not in reality. I believe there's a lot of relevancy there. <laughs> I don't All see right, where so that, I don't see where any of it's going to affect the courts in any way, shape, or form. All right, so the, 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 the issue that the court is going to determine has nothing to do with things that happened during your arrest. The issue is whether or not... It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not about the arrest. It's, it's about the arrest for the violation of probation as well. All right, the, the only issue before the court that day is going to be whether or not you reported. So your arrest doesn't have any, any relevancy to that. So... Um, I, well, I'm not gonna I beg to differ, Your, I, Your Honor. I beg to differ because you're, the jury is going to be a jury of my peers. And at this time, sir, sir, you're not going to have sir, a jury of my not, peers. Sir, sir, there's not going to be any jury. You're not entitled to a jury trial on a uh, hearing about violating your probation. I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood. I'm pretty sure that um, last time I spoke to you, you said that I had the right to a jury trial for determining if I was guilty for a violation of probation. I, I've never seen you on this violation of probation. I've um, seen you or so I've, I've, I've seen I've seen you just the other day, last last week. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second here. You violated your probation in only one week? I know people in real life who have taken months to violate their probation. And then it was just through some mistake they made nothing intentional. 
but violation of probation within a week? Yeah, that sounds, well, pretty intentional to me. No, no, you didn't. A different judge conducted that hearing. You're Michael Olsaver, aren't you? There was yes, Judge Dan Sloan, and then there was you. I've seen both of you. You, you did not see me last week. Um, I did. And so you're, you're not entitled to a jury trial on a probation violation. So, um, again, we will have you back in person on Well, Monday. hold up then. So if I'm not in, entitled to a trial to determine if I'm guilty or not, this is a criminal court, isn't it? It's a criminal court where you have already pled guilty to a felony and been placed on probation. Because I was at risk of dying in this. I muted Mr. Matson's device because he continues to interrupt me and not let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. Matson, I was saying that this is a criminal court wherein you have pled guilty uh, to possessing a controlled substance and uh, you were placed on probation as a result of that, your sentence was to be placed on probation. Um, subsequent to being sentenced to probation, uh, there was an allegation that you failed to report in accordance with the terms of your probation. That is an alleged violation of probation. There's no right to a jury trial uh, for a violation of probation. So the court will conduct. Let me, let me, let me, um, let me speak to. I muted Mr. Matson again because he unmuted himself and interrupted me. Um, we will have you back on April 8th at 3.30, Mr. Matson. This hearing is concluded. Well, Soft Heart, I would say the best thing for you to do right now is try to utilize an attorney in the proper way, not by not having him do your paperwork, just that his... Uh, Employees do the paperwork, the ones who actually know how to do it, and let the uh, lawyer do the arguing on your behalf, considering that's what he's trained to do. But this advice would fall on deaf ears, considering you violated your probation in a single week because of your dumbassery. So good luck in the next few days on your uh, upcoming uh, trial, and... Uh, Hopefully they won't be too uh, harsh on you. Hopefully uh, it'll be just a restoration of your probation and nothing else. Maybe they'll give you another chance. Hopefully maybe they'll uh, come to their senses and just let you slide on this one occasion. But then again, maybe they'll go the uh, real route and uh, throw the book at you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?